The House now expected to take up separate bills to provide aid for Israel and Ukraine. So what do we know about these bills? How soon could this happen? Look, this was already a mess messy situation, guys. The way that Speaker Johnson is now trying to attack it has multiple different prongs to it. And what one Republican member told me is the sense they got from the Speaker in a closed door meeting yesterday was the reason they're breaking it up is because it's just important that some form of this military aid pass. Now, when you do it in chunks like this, Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, and then a fourth bill that is sort of filled with other Republican foreign aid uh, priorities, including the potential for something that we've talked about a lot, which is not outright giving Ukraine aid, but instead giving it to Ukraine in the form of a loan, specifically through frozen Russian assets. That's one of those bills that might be in that fourth tranche that we end up seeing the House vote on. But look, this is still a tricky situation for the Speaker, because it wasn't just the question of how they voted on the aid, but the aid itself that could alienate key members of his conference and trigger a motion to vacate. So all of the foreign policy politics are still very much muddled with the House Republican politics. And I got to tell you, we're still hearing from people like Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene, who say she doesn't like this. The question is, does she not like it enough to actually trigger that motion to vacate? Mm. That hangs over all of this, even as urgency mounts for this aid to actually get out the door. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.